Hi everyone, welcome to my Scrappy Kathy channel. And today is Pink Fresh Friday and it's also Mixed Media Mayhem Day. So I'm combining the two and I'm also doing the Day 5 Scrap Squad uh, 12 Days of Summer Scrap Lifts. And it is another page. I've lifted three of hers, I think, recently. Uh, Claire Louise, Claire Hawkins. And it's got this circular element and then big clusters of flowers. There's some rolled papers and some um, tags. And I am not sure that I'm going to do the rolled papers. I may try to do something else in in its place. Uh, I, it, this is probably an unlikely combination. You can see me with the photo here, the girls standing next to um, a vintage uh, truck in front of what looks like a garage with a golf uh, oil sign. And I always take a picture whenever we go to the restaurant that's near this. Um, because uh, John and I met when we were working at Gulf. So, um, and you can see Ava's carrying the takeout. And this was on Father's Day, I think. I think it was Father's Day that we were there. So, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this round element be my round element in, that uh, that kind of sets off this. And I'm gonna have to trust that I'll build my clusters. I'm gonna cover up these flowers. They're not exactly the style of the flowers that I'm using, although they're close enough and the leaves are fine. So I'm gonna kinda, kinda do that. And I'm gonna have some, even though there's no purple in the photo, the uh, elements I'm using will have purple. And, and just to give you a preview, this is a roll of washi tape from Pink Fresh's um, Garden Bouquet uh, collection. And it's a collection that has no pattern paper. But I've got all the embellishments and I've got stencils and stamps and this washi. And so that's what I'm gonna make my layout from. So let's see. The very first thing I'm going to do is use my Versamark watermark pen. One of the requirements, well, let me tell you all of them. Uh, Mixed Media Mayhem calls for texture paste, uh, powder, uh, the embossing powder, and ink. So I've got my texture paste and my paste applicator handy, and I'm gonna do something with that in a little bit. Um, let me, first, I'm gonna do the stitching around here, and I'm gonna do it just right on the edge, and it's gonna be very, um, Oh, what do I want to say? Very casually done. I'm not trying to be perfect with it. And the point on my Versamark pen is very uh, well used, shall we say. And I have no idea how uh, well the ink is going to stay wet. So... I've put that on, and now I'm going to sprinkle the embossing powder. I think it went about as far as this, and then I switched over to here. These are the areas that I think will show, and I'll just have to make it my business not to... Um, Okay, now I'm going to do this. I have no idea whether that's going to help, but if the ink is kind of not completely 
uh, not as wet as you'd like it to be, if it's maybe a little bit dry, it seems like that might improve contact. So now I need to find my, I should have had this out. I have a, here we go. I'm gonna dump the powder in here. Okay, and I will clean that up. It did stick, um, in, including in a couple places I didn't necessarily want it to. So I will clean that part up with a paintbrush. Let me get a paintbrush that is the right size and so forth. I'm going to kind of just do this, go right up to the line. And you can see it kind of, um, it kind of didn't stick right there. And Again, I'll, I'll try to embellish so that that doesn't show. And I'm gonna just let that go on this mat. This mat is a, um, is a Ken Oliver mat and it doesn't, uh, it's heat resistant. So when I'm melting the embossing powder, it's not gonna melt. So I'm actually going to heat it and pull the paper away and kind of see. I just don't want to warp the mat that I have underneath it. So this embossing powder is a, uh, a, a, a no-name brand, at least as far as I'm concerned right now. I've had it for a million years, and it was part of a set I got where um, the, which, what it was for was to build some scenes with, um, and, and emboss some scenes, like, and I did that on a few cards at one time and kind of lost interest both in cards and that embossing powder. So it kind of got stored away and in a, a reorganization recently, I pulled it out and it's actually on my table now. Um, I don't know if that really looks like stitching or if it just looks like a uh, an embossed border around the circle. And I apologize for the time and and the sound, the time it's taking and the sound it's making. But and it has somewhat warped the paper. But I'm okay. I think it's that that'll that will work itself out. Okay. Now I'm going to place the photo here so that some things. Let me pull some. Uh, well, actually, let's do some more uh, mixed media work and then I can put this mat away. I'm using a couple stencils. I have already stamped uh, these images on some scrap cardstock. Um, and I'm gonna fussy cut them and not use the whole thing. This is the stamp set, and I forget what the name of it is. I have the package somewhere, but I probably won't find it in time to tell you, I'll, I'll try to put it in the, um, 
in the comments. So I stamped it on my Misty, and now I'm going to take the stencil and kind of offset it. There's a matching stencil. I'm going to do this daisy looking flower in purple. Let me see if I can. There's the match and I'm going to offset it just a little bit. And I'm going to first brush on some purple lightly. And then I'm going to use this little guy to get some darker purple in the middle. And I'm not crazy about how that looks, but it'll probably be okay once I get all the everything else working. So I'm going to do the same thing to this partial flower, except maybe I might try to get that one actually right on the flower. Let me just kind of, at least the center, I'll do that. And Okay, that one looks a little more like I had hoped this one would look. And let me see if I can fix this one, maybe by putting this on there, right on there. Let's see, I have to keep turning and matching the profiles. Let's see, I think that is close. Let me just kind of do that. I think what's bothering me is that dark center. But like I said, I will fussy cut that and figure it out. Okay, the other color I'm going to use is Barn Door um, because I'm, I'm trying to bring some red in to kind of match up. And, and there is a red or an orangey red in the collection. Uh, let's see see those flowers right there and those so there's some of that in there and uh so let's get the other stencil here it is this you can see that i tested i did some testing right there uh let's this one's going to be hard to match up i think um there we go Okay, and I'm going to do the, that's a, just naturally a little bit off. I'm gonna kind of brush it out so it's not such a, a distinct circle-y thing. And let me, do this there the stencils that came with the collection also um have you can do leaves i'm gonna leave my leaves uncolored i'll leave them black and white okay so there's that oh that's kind of pretty and then you they're also cover those little small ones but i'm gonna leave those and here i'm gonna do this partial one again kind of let's see if that's the right way um there's that let's just do that that way Okay, and I'm okay that I kind of went over that little guy. So I'm going to put these off to the side. And here's where I wish I uh, edited. I would definitely go back and 
kind of remove the fussy cutting part, but I'm not going to get real picky with my fussy cutting. Okay. Now, the first thing I need to do here is take my trimmer and trim off the um, branding strip. And this is from the collection called The Best Day. And this page, this paper came in a Mind the Scrap kit. And I, back when it came out, I was subscribing to uh, getting the main paper kit and then an extra one. So I would have two sides of every paper. And then I bought a, a kind of a grab bag and it came in that too. So I've had three sheets of this paper and I don't think I've used any of them, you know, anything in any way like this. Um, still uh, out of it of my adhesive, um, my tape runner. Okay, let me um, get my fussy cutting scissors and I'm gonna kinda just give this a quick, and these are gonna get overlaid and layered all all over the place with um, both ephemera and the flowers I cut from the washi tape. And I even have some puffy stickers. And I'm just going to kind of use these as a background and to help me cover up Let's see, I wanna go in a little deeper here and then there and around. I think um, this is gonna end up looking like a much more important page than that photo is, but I love the photo and I don't ever not want to have it. So I'm going to do this, maybe right, be the, let that be the thing that bridges that gap. And I'm going to put just a, a little piece of washi, of um, foam tape under it, kind of right in the middle so that I can layer a whole bunch of things around it. Okay, and here, this is gonna go down there. And I'm gonna And I'm much happier with this one than with that one. So I'm much more likely to layer things on top of that one rather than uh, this one. This one's gonna layer on top of the existing flowers while letting some of those blue leaves show. And then we'll start just going through all the ephemera that I have and the um, that washi tape came with uh, a set of dies that cut around the images. So you can cut the images out of the washi tape without having to do this. So what I did was I took a piece of cardstock and I laid the tape down really uh, carefully and, and smoothly on the cardstock. And then I ran the cardstock through the die cutter, through the my die cutting machine, my um, Vagabond, Tim Holtz Vagabond. And uh, 
I cut out, I'll show you what I have and, and we'll see what we're going to do there. Now this actually has this, this cut edge. I did maybe think I wasn't going to use that flower. I was going to cut this one out, but I kind of like that they're both there. So what I think I may do is kind of put that right like so, and then I'll layer some other flowers around it. So again, I'm going to lift it up. And there's my test image under there. I just decided early on that I didn't really want to use this thing to press the ink through the flower petals. Just the center might be good enough. So I'm going to go like so with that. And now I have some work to do to make all this look decent. So here's what I've got. I don't need these dies. These are the dies that go with the um, washi tape and that's kind of what what they, they look like. Um, I've got ephemera and chipboard and tags and um, more like cardstock stickers than I've got an alpha. I'm not going to use the alpha. I'm actually going to use a stamp for my title, and I may as well just go ahead. Oh, and here are the things, the pieces I cut from the washi tape that I laid onto white cardstock. Um, let me ink this up. This is Pink Fresh. A detail black ink and it really does a good job. I've used it a lot. There, I'm, that's, it would have, it would be a lot clearer black if I'd used it on the Misty. But since I'm stamping directly onto a 12 by 12 page, I'm okay with the fact that it isn't there. So let me put that there. I've got this giant floral piece, which I'm thinking could go here, kind of overlapping the, um, and I'm gonna cut some of this away. So I'll do that and you can see how I'm, I'm starting to change the, the look of just that, that stamped image there. And then I have a puffy sticker that has those same flowers, but they have the kind of the red color in them. And I thought I might do maybe Maybe that could go right here, kind of tucked under. Let's see what we've got. I'm, I'm still worried about what to do with this, but actually before I do much else, I want to grab a couple tags and Not there. Here we go. Here's a bunch of tags. And I've got this little tag. And this one. I'm going to 
cut that off and put a little glue. That's, I'm gonna cut some more off. <laughs> and now I need to put more glue. I didn't put any foam underneath that, and I should. Just to raise it up so that you can, since it's lying over top of flowers and it has flowers it's kind of a, and i'm going to use this one here and that's what's going to cover up this again i'm going to cut more off i hate that That's good, and then I can layer those underneath it on either side. I think I'm gonna do the red one, the red-ish one, maybe here, and it's uh, kind of mimics that flower, and then I'll do this one up over here by the Like that. Okay, so I'm kind of okay there. Maybe I can layer this. I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is draw some contrast back there. And I know I'm gonna cover up some of my flowers and I'm actually gonna have to lift that up and put that there so that it, it looks like layered tags. And I think I've got, I've got the contrast that I was looking for. Let me get some glue to get, keep that glued down. Okay, now here I could possibly use another tag, and these are all double-sided. That They're just wonderful. But let's see if I can find some floral ephemera. There's another... I'm just gonna pull it out and hunt through. I kind of like that, but I need something. Ooh, this has that kind of orange color to it. So if I did this and then maybe layer that underneath. I can still leave that yellow one showing and then I can run that one sort of like that. Let's try that. I don't want to cover up the entire purple flower, so I'm going to kind of lay that on like this and it's propped up on foam. And I don't want to prop this up yet because I've got things that are going to go under it. I'm going to maybe go with that and I'll prop it up a bit. Hmm. 
Okay, and then this. Can go like that. And then I'm going to see what else I can bring around there. I have a purple chipboard circle. And I'm going to cut it in half. And run it like so. All right. Now let's see what else is in here that I might like. Um, I've got something here. Ooh, okay, here's the some of the orangey flowers. And I might have that coming out there. And there, I know the flowers are upside down, and I, I kind of actually like that look. But, and I'm, I'm I've, I've, I was thinking maybe of a tag, I mean a tab here. And if I do that, I'm covering up these flowers, but I'm, I have some flowers I can put there. So let me get a skinny, piece on here. And now let me look for these are the same flowers as those. That will work. I'm going to put a little foam back here. And I've got all this mess on my table, and I apologize for that. But I'm trying to work fairly quickly. I've got to get this, this uh, link in and figure out what I'm making for dinner and who, how many people are coming and all those fun things. There we go. And that you still get that, the beauty of that white tag there. Okay. Um, I just used this piece in another page and I miss um, identified where it came from. It came from Pink Crush Studios Garden Bouquet. And I think I said, I forget what I said. This says love. That says lovely. I'm going to put it here. because I like it. I have some partial um, floral bits that I can tuck in. I'm glad I, I stitched. I did the uh, embossing around here because that I'm gonna leave that showing. I'm gonna put this here and let it stay under. And I'm going to do the same thing to something that doesn't matter if it's a bit upside down. Um, and that yellow flower still shows. I'm going to cut some of that off and 
curl it up and tuck it under. Okay. And now I'm going to go to some smaller elements. Um, I want to use this because I don't want to lose it, and I will if I don't um, use it on this page. I'll just do that like that. Okay, I've pulled from the tags. These are the chipboards. I really like this little kind of periwinkle heart. And I'm going to put it right here because the embossing didn't quite reach there. Uh, these are the puffy stickers. And I've used one somewhere up in here. Uh, let me add this. This one. Uh, again, I'm trying to get this, separate this white from the white background. This is actually a little more cream than it is white, but I'm not, I don't like this up there. So, I'll find something else. There is a circular element. Okay, yes, I like a couple things on here. There are a couple orange things, and I like that. But the circular element is perfect for right under there. I think. Yeah, I think that, that works. But I've got um, here for this. Oh, you know what? The lovely is lifting up. It's not staying tucked down. It's not the lovely, it's the tag. So let me get that back under there. Is that gonna work? I think so. And I'm gonna put here for this, Maybe right here. I hate covering up these blue leaves. So let me do it this way. I'll line it up with the dots and have it right there. And then um, there was something else orange that I thought I might like. I'm thinking I'd like something right there, but I'm actually I'm actually liking that. I want to see if I can find another little circle with a heart in it. That was in the chipboards, and I don't see another one just like that. But there are a couple hearts. There's a purple heart here and a gold one. So let me do my um, here and here. So I have that. I think I'm done. I have some embossing powder that I want to use through the stencil and I've left ink on the stencil 
and I'm hoping that that kind of transfers to the texture paste. I, I kind of want I, I just kind of want to run it around the edges. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is a, um, a total shot in the dark. I'm gonna, I should have been, a, I should have done, you know what I think I'm gonna do, and you're gonna scream and cry. I'm actually gonna cut the stencil and so that I can get it closer. I'm gonna go there and I'll take some of this light and fluffy texture paste and I think it's raining outside it got dark all of a sudden I had thought maybe I'd go to the pool after I finished this video because I thought I could squeeze that in before I need to fix dinner, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, there's one texture paste flower and you see how it picked up some of the red on the ends? there and I'm going to do a purple one right here. I will wash that in a minute and the purple one's going to be, I don't have to cut the stencil because, let's see which side is, it? because I'm, I'm actually putting it kind of out. Well, I, I want it kind of down below where that circle is. And it's so amazing how all these things are coordinated. Okay, done. I'm happy with that. Let me do one more little silly thing. I want to... Uh, and I'm doing this kind of just to see if it will work. Let me put the, my pen in my glue here. I'm going to take a small, tiny paintbrush, and I'm going to spread some, it is uh, Distressed Ink and Milled Lavender. And I'm going to wet it a little bit and pick some up on my paintbrush and kind of brush it on. It, the reason I'm doing it wet is because I want the brush strokes to show. I thought that might be, and that there I kind of scraped up a little too much of it. Okay, so I did that with that. I'm going to now do some of the red Distress Oxide. And I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna use the same paintbrush because I don't, I'm okay if it um, kind of picks up a little, if it, if it dulls it down with some of that um,
There we go. And if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't do this part. I would leave it as it was. And I don't know, I, I, I don't hate it, but it's probably unnecessary. I might leave some more water. That's better, it's a little more like water coloring when you do it that way. And I'm gonna just make a leap and color the center of this one with the orange color, getting some of it on the, the brush. And I'm gonna, I'll do, I'll do the center of that one the same color. And I might try to get it a little bit darker. Okay, so there, I'm done. <laughs> and it's probably what you might call overdone. Let me now rinse, well, I'm gonna do a different paintbrush. I'm gonna wipe this off and use a different paintbrush to make some splatters. Okay, and I'm gonna take the um, milled lavender again and spray it down, get it on my paintbrush and I don't have enough color on there. I don't really want it to be high contrast splattering. I used some of this on my layout I did earlier today and I love it. I'm gonna kind of color in these little flowers there, which I said I was perfectly happy to leave uncolored. And I'm gonna try to see if I can, maybe I'm gonna, I'm trying to soften the lines of that center there. And if you leave me alone with a paintbrush, I could probably mess with that all day. So, I'm gonna leave it now. I don't like those at all. I said I didn't hate them, but I do. But thank you for watching. So don't do that part <laughs> if, you, if you lift this layout. Don't do that part. <laughs> uh, happy Pink Fresh Friday and happy Mixed Media Mayhem. And there was certainly mayhem in, in this process. Thanks for watching. Bye.